Hi, Inside Edition. We're, We're the Reebacks. Re Meet Supermom. She has 16 kids. The oldest is 23. The youngest is two. I confuse names all the time. And then they're like, I'm Corson. I know your name. I gave it to you. All right, so everybody, we need to get in a line. Let's go. To keep everything else straight, Liette Reback starts each day with a to-do list. If it doesn't get on the list, it's not going to happen. Liette homeschools all the children at their home in North Palm Beach, Florida. The kids participate in 88 sports practices each week. Dad David is the coach. <laughs> they certainly can't fit in one car, so they have their own bus. All right, let's go. Yep, this super mom also drives the bus. This is dirty laundry from just one morning. It's a team effort. Need some hangers? 42 loads each week. Even the littlest one, two-year-old Vaughn, does his part. We're teaching them some good life skills. The kids are involved in preparing meals. These eggs will all be gone in just two days. Usually takes about 35 eggs to make scrambled eggs for the family in the mornings. Amen. Family dinner is a huge Amen. undertaking. I always wanted a big family. You know, each time you think, what would life be like without this one here? We didn't feel like the family was complete and we've been blessed every time. Privacy is pretty much non-existent at the Rebacks household. Six girls share one room and this is the boys' room and the nursery. The best part of having so many brothers and sisters is you always have someone to play with. Mom and dad aren't allowed to have favorites, but us siblings definitely are. Everybody chooses their own favorites. It's really sweet. Do you need some beans? In the midst of raising 16 kids, Liette finds time to run her charity, Believe With Me, which raises money for Gold Star families. Lemonade! Get your lemonade! And just as you'd expect, the kids get involved. I couldn't imagine life any other way. <laughs> Liette Reback's charity is currently raising funds to buy a new home for the family of Petty Officer Brendan Sandberg. He lost his life in a naval helicopter crash.